Michael John Moorcock, born the 18th of December 1939, is an English writer and musician, primarily of science fiction and fantasy, who has also published literary novels. He is best known for his novels about the character Elric of Melnibone, a seminal influence on the field of fantasy since the 1960s and 70s. As editor of the British science fiction magazine New Worlds, from May 1964 until March 1971 and then again from 1976 to 1996, Moorcock fostered the development of the science fiction New Wave in the UK and indirectly in the United States. His publication of Bug Jack Baron 1969, by Norman Spinrad as a serial novel was notorious. In Parliament some British MPs condemned the Arts Council for funding the magazine. He is also a successful recording musician, contributing to the bands Hawkwind, Blue Oyster Cult and his own project. In 2008, The Times named Moorcock in its list of the 50 greatest British writers since 1945. Topic: Biography. Michael Moorcock was born in London in December 1939, and the landscape of London, particularly the area of Notting Hill Gate and Ladbroke Grove, is an important influence in some of his fiction. Cf. The Cornelius novels. Moorcock has mentioned The Mastermind of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs, The Apple Cart by George Bernard Shaw, and The Constable of St. Nicholas by Edwin Lester Arnold as the first three non juvenile books that he read before beginning beginning primary school. The first book he bought was a second-hand copy of The Pilgrim's Progress. Moorcock is the former husband of Hilary Bailey by whom he had three children, Sophie B.1963, Catherine B.1964, and Max B. 1972. He is also the former husband of Jill Riches, who later married Robert Calvert. She illustrated some of Moorcock's books, including covers, including the Gloriana Dustjacket. In 1983, Linda Steele became Moorcock's third wife. He was an original member of the Swordsmen and Sorcerers Guild of America saga, a loose-knit group of eight heroic fantasy authors founded in the 1960s and led by Lynn Carter, self-selected by fantasy credentials alone. Moorcock is the subject of four book-length works, a monograph and an interview, by Colin Greenland. In 1983, Greenland published the Entropy Exhibition, Michael Moorcock and the British New Wave in Science Fiction. He followed this with Michael Moorcock, Death is No Obstacle, a book-length interview about technique, in 1992. Michael Moorcock, Law of Chaos by Jeff Gardiner and Michael Moorcock, Fiction, Fantasy and the World's Pawn by Mark Scroggins were published more recently. In the 1990s, Moorcock moved to Texas in the United States. His wife Linda is American. He spends half of the year in Texas, the other half in Paris. Topic. Views on politics Moorcock's works are noted for their political nature and content. In one interview, he states, I am an anarchist and a pragmatist. My moral, philosophical position is that of an anarchist. Further, in describing how his writing relates to his political philosophy, Moorcock says, my books frequently deal with aristocratic heroes, gods and so forth. All of them end on a note which often states quite directly that one should serve neither gods nor masters but become one's own master." Besides using fiction to explore his politics, Moorcock also engages in political activism. In order to marginalize stuff that works to objectify women and suggests women enjoy being beaten." He has encouraged W. H. Smith's to move John Norman's Gore series novels to the top shelf. <laughs> 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 
Topic Writer Topic Fiction Moorcock began writing whilst he was still at school, contributing to a magazine he entitled Outlaw's Own from 1950 on. In 1957, at the age of 17, Moorcock became editor of Tarzan Adventures, a national juvenile weekly featuring text and Tarzan comic strip, where he published at least a dozen of his own Sojin the Swordsman stories during that year and the next. At age 18, in 1958, he wrote the allegorical fantasy novel The Golden Barge. This remained unpublished until 1980, when it was issued by Savoy Books with an introduction by M. John Harrison. At 19 years of age he also edited Sexton Blake Library serial pulp fiction featuring Sexton Blake, the poor man's Sherlock Holmes, and returned to late Victorian London for some of his books. Writing ever since, he has produced a huge volume of work. His first story in New Worlds was, Going Home, 1958, with Barrington J. Bailey, The Sundered Worlds. A 57-page novella published in the November 1962 number of Science Fiction Adventures edited by John Carnell, became, with its sequel, The Blood Red Game. From the same magazine, the basis for his 190-page paperback debut novel three years later, The Sundered Worlds Compact Books, 1965, in the U.S., Paperback Library, 1966, Moorcock replaced Carnell as New World's editor from the May to June 1964 number. Under his leadership the magazine became central to New Wave science fiction. This movement promoted literary style and an existential view of technological change, in contrast to hard science fiction, which extrapolated on technological change itself. Some new wave stories were not recognizable as traditional science fiction, and New Worlds remained controversial for as long as Moorcock edited it. During that time, he occasionally wrote as James Colvin, a house pseudonym that was also used by other New World's critics. A spoof obituary of Colvin appeared in New World's number 197, January 1970, written by Charles Platt as William Barclay. Moorcock makes much use of the initials J.C. These are also the initials of Jesus Christ, the subject of his 1967 Nebula Award-winning novella Behold the Man, which tells the story of Carl Glogauer, a time traveler who takes on the role of Christ. They are also the initials of various eternal champion Moorcock characters such as Jerry Cornelius, Jerry Cornell and Jarek Carnelian. In more recent years, Moorcock has taken to using Warwick Colvin Jr. as a pseudonym, particularly in his Second Ether fiction. Moorcock talks about much of his writing in Death as No Obstacle by Colin Greenland, which is a book-length transcription of interviews with Moorcock about the structures in his writing. Moorcock has also published pastiches of writers for whom he felt affection as a boy, including Edgar Rice Burroughs, Lee Brackett, and Robert E. Howard. All his fantasy adventures have elements of satire and parody, while respecting what he considers the essentials of the form. Although his heroic fantasies have been his most consistently reprinted books in the United States, he achieved prominence in the UK as a literary author, with the Guardian Fiction Prize in 1977 for The Condition of Muzak, and with Mother London later shortlisted for the Whitbread Prize. Novels and series such as The Cornelius Quartet, Mother London, King of the City, The Piat Quartet and the short story collection London Bone have established him in the eyes of Chris critics such as Ian Sinclair, Peter Aykroyd and Alan Massey in publications including the Times Literary Supplement and the London Review of Books as a major contemporary literary novelist. 
In 2008 Moorcock was named by a critics panel in The Times as one of the 50 best British novelists since 1945. Virtually all of his stories are part of his overarching, eternal champion theme or oeuvre, with characters including Elric moving from one storyline and fictional universe to another, all of them interconnected though often only in dreams or visions. Most of Moorcock's earlier work consisted of short stories and relatively brief novels, he has mentioned that, I could write 15,000 words a day and gave myself three days of volume. That's how, for instance, the Hawkmoon books were written. Over the period of the New World's editorship and his publishing of the original fantasy novels Moorcock has maintained an interest in the craft of writing and a continuing interest in the semi-journalistic craft of pulp authorship. This is reflected in his development of interlocking cycles which hark back to the origins of fantasy in myth and medieval cycles see Wizardry and Wild Romance, Moorcock, and Death is No Obstacle, Colin Greenland, for more commentary. This also provides an implicit link with the episodic origins of literature in newspaper, magazine serials from Trollope and Dickens onwards. None of this should be surprising given Moorcock's background in magazine publishing. Since the 1980s, Moorcock has tended to write longer, more literary, mainstream novels, such as Mother London and Byzantium Endures, but he continues to revisit characters from his earlier works, such as Elric, with books such as The Dream Thief's Daughter or The Scrailing Tree. With the publication of the third and last book in this series, The White Wolf's Son, he announced that he was retiring. From writing heroic fantasy fiction, though he continues to write Elric's adventures as graphic novels with his longtime collaborators Walter Simonson and the late James Cawthorn (1929–2008). Together, they produced the graphic novel Elric: The Making of a Sorcerer, published by DC Comics in 2007. He has also completed his Colonel Piat sequence, dealing with the Nazi Holocaust, which began in 1981 with Byzantium Endures, continued through The Laughter of Carthage 1984 and Jerusalem Commands 1992, and now culminates with The Vengeance of Rome 2006. Among other works by Moorcock are The Dancers at the End of Time, set on Earth millions of years in the future, Gloriana, or The Unfulfilled Queen, set in an alternative Earth history and the Second Ether sequence beginning with Blood. Moorcock is prone to revising his existing work, with the result that different editions of a given book may contain significant variations. The changes range from simple retitlings e.g., the Elric story The Flame Bringers became the caravan of forgotten dreams in the 1990s Gallant's White Wolf Omnibus editions to character name changes e.g., Detective Minos Aquilinas becoming first Minos von Beck and later Sam Begg in three different versions of the short story. The Pleasure Garden of Felipe Sagittarius. Major textual alterations, for example, the addition of several new chapters to the Steel Czar in the Omnibus editions, and even complete restructurings, e.g., the 1966 novella Behold the Man being expanded to novel length from the original version that appeared in New Worlds for republication as a book in 1969 by Allison and Busby. A new, final revision of almost his entire oeuvre, with the exception of his literary novels Mother London, King of the City and the Piat Quartet, is currently being issued by Victor Gollins and many of his titles are being reprinted in the United States and France. Many comics based on his work are being reprinted by Titan Books under the general title The Michael Moorcock Library while in France a new adaptation of the Elric series has been translated into many languages, including English. <laughs> Elric of Milnabone Moorcock's best-selling works have been the 
Elric of Melnabone stories. In these books, Elric is written as a deliberate reversal of what Moorcock saw as clichés commonly found in fantasy adventure novels inspired by the works of J.R.R. Tolkien, and a direct antithesis of Robert E. Howard's Conan the Barbarian. Moorcock's work is complex and multi-layered. Central to many of his fantasy novels is the concept of an eternal champion who has potentially multiple identities across multiple dimensions of reality and alternative universes. This cosmology is called the multiverse within his novels and independently mirrors the concept which arose in particle physics in the 1960s and is still a current theory in high-energy physics. The multiverse deals with various primal polarities such as good and evil, law and chaos, and order and entropy. The success of Elric has overshadowed his many other works, though he has worked a number of the themes of the Elric stories into his other works the Hawk Moon and Corum novels, for example, and Elric appears in the Jerry Cornelius and Dancers at the End of Time Cycles. His Eternal Champion sequence has been collected in two different editions of Omnibus volumes totaling 16 books the US edition was 15 volumes, while the British edition was 14 volumes, but due to various rights issues, the US edition contained two volumes that were not included in the British edition, and the British edition likewise contained one volume that was not included in the US edition, containing several books per volume, by Victor Gollins in the UK and by White Wolf Publishing in the US. There have been several uncompleted attempts to make an Elric film. Currently the Mythology Company have a film project in hand with a script by Glenn Matsara. Hawkmoon is currently in development by the BBC. Topic. Jerry Cornelius. Another of Moorcock's creations is Jerry Cornelius, a kind of hip urban adventurer of ambiguous gender, the same characters featured in each of several Cornelius books. These books were most obviously satirical of modern times, including the Vietnam War, and continue to feature as another variation of the multiverse theme. The first Jerry Cornelius book, The Final Program, 1968, was made into a feature film in 1973. Its storyline is essentially identical to two of the Elric stories, The Dreaming City and The Dead God's Book. Since 1998, Moorcock has returned to Cornelius in a series of new stories, The Spencer Inheritance, The Camus Connection, Cheering for the Rockets, and Firing the Cathedral, which was concerned with 9-11. All four novellas were included in the 2003 edition of The Lives and Times of Jerry Cornelius. Moorcock's most recent Cornelius stories, Modem Times appeared in the Solaris Book of New Science Fiction, Volume 2, published in 2008. This was expanded in 2011 as Modem Times 2.0. Additionally, a version of Cornelius also appeared in Moorcock's 2010 Doctor Who novel The Coming of the Terrophiles. Pegging the President, P.S. 2018, The Fracking Factory on FB 2018 are two recent novellas and further stories are forthcoming. Since the 1990s he has worked on novels containing autobiography and fake autobiography mixed with fantasy and parody beginning with Blood and The War Amongst the Angels. His most recent sequence began with The Whispering Swarm. Published to critical success in 2015, The Woods of Arcady is forthcoming. With Kabul, Denol 2018, he continued to publish original work in France. Topic views on fiction writing Moorcock is a fervent supporter of the works of Mervyn Peake. He cites Fritz Leiber, an important sword and sorcery pioneer, as an author who writes fantasy that is not escapist and contains meaningful themes. 
These views can be found in his study of epic fantasy, wizardry and wild romance Gallants, 1987, which was revised and reissued by Monkey Brain Books in 2004, its first U.S. edition catalogued by ISFDB. Moorcock is somewhat dismissive of the works of J.R.R. Tolkien. He met both Tolkien and C.S. Lewis in his teens, and claims to have liked them personally even though he does not admire them on artistic grounds. Moorcock criticized works such as The Lord of the Rings for their Merry England point of view, famously equating Tolkien's novel to Winnie the Pooh in his essay Epic Pooh. Even so, James Cawthorn and Moorcock included The Lord of the Rings in Fantasy, The 100 Best Books, Carol and Graf, 1988, and their review is not dismissive. Moorcock has also criticized writers for their political agendas. He included Robert A. Heinlein and H. P. Lovecraft among this group in a 1978 essay, Starship Stormtroopers, Anarchist Review. There he criticized the production of authoritarian fiction by certain canonical writers, and Lovecraft for having anti-Semitic, misogynistic and extremely racist viewpoints that he weaved into his short stories. Topic. Sharing fictional universes with others Moorcock has allowed a number of other writers to create stories in his fictional Jerry Cornelius universe. Brian Aldous, M. John Harrison, Norman Spinrad, James Salas, and Steve Aylett, among others, have written such stories. Many others have appeared on a Moorcock Facebook page. In an interview published in the Internet Review of Science Fiction, Moorcock explains the reason for sharing his character. I came out of popular fiction and Jerry was always meant to be a sort of crystal ball for others to see their own visions in, the stories were designed to work like that, a diving board, to use another analogy, from which to jump into the river and be carried along by it. All of these have tended to use Jerry the way I intended to use him, as a way of seeing modern life and sometimes as a way of commenting on it. Jerry, as Harrison said, was as much a technique as a character and I'm glad that others have taken to using that method. Two short stories by Keith Roberts, Caranda, and The Wreck of the Kissing Bitch, are set in the frozen Matto Grosso plateau of Moorcock's 1969 novel, The Ice Schooner. Elric of Melnabone and Moonglam appear in Carl Edward Wagner's story. The Gothic Touch, where they meet with Cain, who borrows Elric for his ability to deal with demons. He is a friend and fan of comic book writer Alan Moore, and allowed Moore the use of his own character, Michael Caine of Old Mars, mentioned in Moore's The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Volume 2. The two men appeared on stage at the Vanbrugh Theatre in London in January 2006 where they discussed Moorcock's work. The Green City from Warriors of Mars was also referenced in Larry Niven's Rainbow Mars. Moorcock's character Jerry Cornelius appeared in Moore's The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Volume 3, Century. Cornelius also appeared in French artist Mobius comic series Le Garage Hermétique. In 1995-96, Moorcock wrote a script for a computer game, film, novel by Origin Systems. When Electronic Arts bought Origins, the game was cancelled, but Moorcock's 40,000-word treatment was fleshed out by Storm Constantine, resulting in the novel, Silverheart. The story is set in Carrader Shriltasi, a city at the heart of the multiverse. A second novel, Dragonskin, was described as being in preparation, with Constantine as the main writer, but has not yet been delivered. Moorcock abandoned a memoir about his friends Mervyn Peake and Maeve Gilmore because he felt it was too personal. He wrote prose and verse for the Sunday Book's first publication in French to accompany a set of unpublished Peake drawings. His book The Metatemporal Detective was published in 2007. 
His most recent book to be published first in French is Kabul, in 2018. In November 2009, Moorcock announced that he would be writing a Doctor Who novel for BBC Books in 2010, making it one of the few occasions when he has written stories set in other people's shared universes. The novel, The Coming of the Terrophiles, was released in October 2010. The story merges Doctor Who with many of Moorcock's characters from the multiverse, notably Captain Cornelius and his pirates. In 2016 he published the first novel in what he terms a literary experiment, blending memoir and fantasy, The Whispering Swarm. In 2018 he announced his completion of the second volume The Woods of Arcady. His Jerry Cornelius novella, Pegging the President, was launched at Shakespeare and Co., Paris, in 2018, where he discussed his work with Hari Kunzru and reaffirmed his commitment to literary experiment. Moorcock is a member of the College of Pataphysicians. Topic. Audiobooks The first of an audiobook series of unabridged Elric novels, with new work read by Moorcock, have recently begun appearing from Audiorealms. The second audiobook in the series, The Sailor on the Seas of Fate, was published in 2007. There have been audiobooks of Coram and others, several of which were unofficial and a Winter Admiral and Furniture or audio versions of short stories. Topic. Music Topic Michael Moorcock and the Deep Fix Moorcock has his own music project, which records under the name Michael Moorcock and the Deep Fix. The Deep Fix was the title story of an obscure collection of short stories by James Colvin a pen name of Moorcock, that was published in the 1960s. The Deep Fix was also the fictional band fronted by Moorcock's character Jerry Cornelius. The first album New World's Fair was released in 1975. The album included Snowy White and a number of Hawkwind regulars in the credits. A second version of the New World's album was issued in 2004 under the album name Roller Coaster Holiday. A non-album single, Starcruiser, coupled with Dodgem Dude, was belatedly issued in 1980. The Deep Fix band gave a rare live performance at the Roundhouse, London on 18 June 1978 at Nick Turner's Bohemian Love Inn, headlined by Turner's band Sphinx and also featuring Tans Der Youth with Brian James, X The Damned, Lightning Raiders, Steve Took's Horns, Roger Ruskin and others, in 1982, as a trio with Pete Pavley and Drachen Theaker. Some recordings were issued on Hawkwind, Friends and Relations and a limited edition edition 7 inches single of Brothel in Rosenstrasse, backed with Time Center. In 2008, the Entropy Tango and Gloriana demo sessions by Michael Moorcock and The Deep Fix was released. These were sessions for planned albums based on two of Moorcock's novels, Gloriana, or The Unfulfilled Queen and The Entropy Tango, which were never completed. Working with Martin Stone, Moorcock began recording a new Deep Fix album in Paris, live from the Terminal Café. Following Stone's death in 2016, Moorcock made plans to complete the album with producer Don Falcone. In 2019, Moorcock announced the completion of the album, and release date October 11, 2019. Topic. With Hawkwind Moorcock collaborated with the British rock band Hawkwind on many occasions. The Hawkwind track, The Black Corridor, for example, included verbatim quotes from Moorcock's novel of the same name, and he worked with the band on their album Warrior on the Edge of Time, for which he earned a gold disc. Moorcock also wrote the lyrics to Sonic Attack, a sci-fi satire of the public information broadcast, that was part of Hawkwind's space ritual set. 
Hawkwind's album The Chronicle of the Black Sword was largely based on the Elric novels. Moorcock appeared on stage with the band on many occasions, including the Black Sword tour. His contributions were removed from the original release of the Live Chronicles album, recorded on this tour, for legal reasons, but have subsequently appeared on some double CD versions. He can also be seen performing on the DVD version of Chronicle of the Black Sword. Topic. With Robert Calvert Moorcock also collaborated with former Hawkwind frontman and resident poet, Robert Calvert who gave the chilling declamation of "'Sonic Attack' on Calvert's albums Lucky Leaf and The Longships and Hype, playing guitar and banjo and singing background vocals. Topic. With Blue Oyster Cult Moorcock wrote the lyrics to three album tracks by the American band Blue Oyster Cult, Black Blade, referring to the Sword Stormbringer in the Elric books, Veteran of the Psychic Wars, showing us Elric's emotions at a critical point of his story. This song may also refer to the Warriors at the Edge of Time which figure heavily in Moorcock's novels about John Dacre, at one point his novel The Dragon in the Sword they call themselves the Veterans of a Thousand Psychic Wars, and The Great Son Jester, about his friend, the poet Bill Butler, who died of a drug overdose. Moorcock has performed live with Bach in 1987 at the Atlanta, Georgia Dragon Con Convention. Topic with Spirits Burning Moorcock contributed vocals and harmonica to the Spirits Burning and Michael Moorcock CD and Alien Heat, released in 2018. Most of the lyrics were lifted from or based on text in his novel An Alien Heat. The album includes contributions from Albert Bouchard and other members of Blue Oyster Cult, as well as former members of Hawkwind. Moorcock also appeared on five tracks on the Spirit's Burning CD Alien Injection, released in 2008. He is credited with singing lead vocals and playing guitar and mandolin. The performances used on the CD were from the Entropy Tango and Gloriana demo sessions. Topic. Awards and honors Michael Moorcock has received great recognition for his career contributions as well as for particular works. The Science Fiction and Fantasy Hall of Fame inducted Moorcock in 2002, its seventh class of two deceased and two living writers. He also received Life Achievement Awards at the World Fantasy Convention in 2000 World Fantasy Award, at the Utopielas International Festival in 2004, Pre-Utopia, from the Horror Writers Association in 2005 Bram Stoker Award, and from the Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America in 2008 named its 25th Grand Master. 1993 British Fantasy Award Committee Award 2000 World Fantasy Award for Life Achievement 2004 Pre-Utopielas Grand Master Lifetime Achievement Award 2004 Bram Stoker Award for Lifetime Achievement in the Horror Genre 2008 Damon Knight Memorial Grand Master Award, Literary Fantasy and Science Fiction He was co-guest of honor at the 1976 World Fantasy Convention in New York City and won guest of honor at the 1997 55th, World Science Fiction Convention in San Antonio, Texas. Awards for Particular Works 1967 Nebula Award Novella, Behold the Man 1972 August Derleth Fantasy Award, The Knight of the Swords 1973 August Derleth Fantasy Award, The King of the Swords 1974 British Fantasy Award, Best Short Story, The Jade Man's Eyes 
1975 August Derleth Fantasy Award, The Sword and the Stallion 1976 August Derleth Fantasy Award, The Hollow Lands 1977 Guardian Fiction Award, The Condition of Muzak 1979 John W. Campbell Memorial Award for Best Science Fiction Novel, Gloriana 1979 World Fantasy Award, Best Novel, Gloriana Topic. Selected works Topic. See also equals equals notes <laughs>